are going to start a new series called HVAC questions and today's is 001 video. We are going to talk about unit conversions. In engineering, you know, unit conversions is one of the very important area. There are situations where the interviewer is going to take a decision based on the answers you give to him on units. There are situations where the employer or the interviewer is going to take a decision that whether he is going to hire you or not. So that important and that basics are the unit conversion questions. So we are going to discuss them. In this question and answer sessions, I will recommend that you have a paper and pencil and do your self-assessment when I am talking. So that will decide whether you yourself will qualify for the job or not. So go and pick up a paper and pen and come back to the video. The first question, what are the different unit systems available? Okay, now write down on the paper. Hope you have noted down the different types of unit systems on the paper. So I am showing on the screen. You can see the SI, MKS, FPS systems and few more unit systems available in the market and in the industry. In the HVAC industry and the construction industry, there are many engineers and uh, you know uh, professionals who still use FPS system as well as SI system. So when you're working with them, you should be very uh, fluent and very easy to flip uh, and understand what will be the value in SI and what will be the value in FPS system. So that's very important for you to have these conversions on your fingertips. Okay, not only on the fingertips, if you do not have things on your fingertips, you can have unit converters. It's very important for you to mug up by heart these conversions. You may say, sir, in which world you are living, why I should mug up when I have the technology where I can go to Google and type unit conversion and you have a tool where you put in the details, you have the answer. But unfortunately, we are preparing you for the interview. In interview, you will not have the access or the possibility of using you know, the tool. So that's the reason we say you need to mug up by heart or have a analytical remembrance of the conversions. As I said in the starting of this particular video, you need to have a pen and a paper. I want you to do self-assessment for yourself to understand by answering these questions, you make a decision whether you will be hired or not by the employer. So let's be very relaxed and have fun in assessing ourselves. Now I'm going to start direct questions and one by one question will be displayed to you on the screen as well, for which you need to write the correct answers in your paper. When you go for this HVAC engineer position, the unit conversion questions comes from distance, weight, volume, temperature, heat, and refrigerant areas. So now I'm going to put up one by one questions for which you may have to write the answers and do the self-assessment. Now you can start doing the conversions. 1.5 meters is equal to how many feet? Next, 13 feet is equal to how many meters? One meter is equal to how many feet? One feet is equal to how many centimeters? 10 square feet is equal to how many square meters? 10 cubic feet is equal to how many liters? 1 kg is equal to how many pounds? 
1 liter is equal to how many grams? 1 degree Fahrenheit is equal to how many centigrade? 1 degree centigrade is equal to how many Kelvin? Now, in interviews, generally, you will get hardly 5 seconds for each question to answer. So, hope you have started the answering. If you have got such questions in your past interviews, please share your experience in the comments. Also share in comments how much time it took for you to answer all the above questions. Now, ask yourself, will the employer hire me? Now, let's recollect some of the basics which we learned in the school. Now, what you are able to see on the screen, 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet. 1 feet is equal to 30.48 centimeters. 1 square feet is equal to 0 0.092 square meters. 1 cubic feet is equal to 28.32 liters. 1 kg is equal to 2.2 pounds. 1 degree foreign heat is equal to minus 17.22 centigrade. 1 degree centigrade is equal to 274.15 Kelvin. All these conversions are very much important for you once you are in the HVAC job. So you need to mug up. We have created a small quick reference sheet which is available in the description. You can download it. It's a password protected. Once we go along, we will give you the password. So stay with us. If you have gone for the HVAC interview, you know that at least one or two questions would have come from the unit conversions. So now, what happens if you have answered those unit conversions? What's the next level of unit conversion questions which you may be asked once you have done this part good? So the next level the interview will go will be for heat and refrigeration conversion points. So let's see them. Now I'm going to put on the screen some of the questions which will come from heat and refrigeration. So let's see on the screen. You need to answer these questions. Hope you have the pen and paper. One kilo calorie is equal to how many kilo joules? One British thermal unit is equal to how many kilo calories? One watt is equal to how many BTU per hour? One horsepower is equal to how many watts? One ton of refrigeration is equal to how many BTU per hour? Now you have seen the questions on the screen answer them and again do the self-assessment understand or decide whether you will be hired by the employer who has asked these questions by seeing the answers what you are given now you can see question and answer on the screen you can have a quick check how many of the questions you have given right answers and how many of the questions you need to learn and remember. Consider you have done wonderful in unit conversions. Now, the interviewer will not stop at unit conversion questions. What are the other possible questions which the interviewer or the employer is going to ask you? So one of the probable topic would be refrigeration cycle. So we are going to create another video on refrigeration cycle which will come as HVC question 002 video. So do subscribe us and get connected. Click on the bell icon so that you are in line with us when the new videos are coming up. Our HVC designing and drafting course contains all these unit conversions in the syllabus.